guys, I am here to film a what's in my work bag video. It was requested some time ago, so I decided to finally go ahead, sit down and film this video for you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, you already know the drill. But before that, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I cut my hair off. Um, yeah, I just wanted to change and I often cut my hair. My hair grows very, very fast. Um, I, you know, do a lot of healthy hair care practices and I really try to take care of my hair so it grows pretty fast. And um, when I cut it, it grows, it seems to just grow right back. So I just wanted something new for spring, summer, so I went ahead and cut my hair. My husband prefers long hair. We had a little bit of a chat and he was like, you know what, go ahead, cut your hair. Um, do what you want to do. So I cut my hair and I absolutely love it. So yeah, more hair videos to come, but this is a what's in my bag video. Um, and yes, like I said, you already know the drill. Give me a like, um, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here, if you are a returning subscriber. I appreciate you so very much for coming back to watch yet another video. Let's get into this. All right, guys, so on my last What's in My Purse video, I think I was requested to do a What's in My Work Bag video. Typically, um, I carry a larger bag to work. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I will carry a smaller bag and then carry a tote bag. But right now, I'm just carrying a large bag. Uh, purse which is a, a tote bag so I'm not carrying like two bags I just have one big bag so I thought I would sit down and film a video to show you what I have in this work bag and what I typically carry on a day when I'm going to work all right guys so this is my current work bag huge 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 tote bag um, yes so this is what I'm currently carrying to work it is actually bigger than my uh, Louis Vuitton never fill, never full MM. Um, but yeah, it just carries so 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 much, and I really love it. I've seen so many people with this bag, and I finally caved and got one. We're gonna go ahead and get right into what is in here, and because it's pretty heavy, um, this bag is just one big open hole. You do get a pouch with the bag, which is really nice. Um, the Goyera bags really remind me of the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls. They're workhorses. They fit so much and they're really, really durable. They fold up so you can, you know, put them in your suitcase. Um, when you're traveling, you could also use them as carry-ons and that's what I plan to do because I have a few trips coming up. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into what is in here. So I live in New York City, so normally you want to carry an umbrella on you because you never know when it's just going to start pouring rain. So this one is pretty small, so I like to kind of keep it in here just in case because sometimes it'll say, the forecast will say it's sunny, and then all of a sudden it'll just start to rain out of nowhere. So it's best just to be prepared, so I like this one. It's pretty small, um, but it's really, really durable, um, and it's pink. It's really pretty, so I have that in there. The next thing I'm going to pull out is my iPad Pro. I use this at work a lot, so I actually have this case that has this keyboard to it. I love this because I use it a lot to answer emails, to send different um, re recaps and reports for work. So this is nice. It's compact. I usually keep it at work. If I'm going to be off for consecutive days, sometimes I will throw it in here and take it home with me just in case I have to answer an email or send something, then I'll take it home with me. And that's why I have it because I was off for four days. I was off the weekend. I had a little bit of a girls, family girls trip. We went to Vermont, so I decided to take this just in case. But normally this is left at work. The next thing I have in here is my daily planner, which I use the full focus planner. If you watch my videos, I talked about this in a past favorites video. And yeah, I just use this. It keeps me super organized. I also have the Louboutin Agenda MM. That's at work currently. Um, I flip between this one and that one. I use them um, for different reasons, but um, this one, you know, everything goes in here from work, personal goals, everything goes in here. The one that I have, um, the smaller MM agenda that I have at work normally is for uh, work stuff and that's why I keep it at work. I'll put a few personal things in that, but that's really sort of my daily to-dos and stuff. This has everything in it. Um, 
and I like to carry it around. It's not too, too big. I have my pen in there where I was writing today, and it has this nice elastic, so it keeps it closed. Yeah, that's my planner. I have my pouch from my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in here because it's just so handy. Um, and here I just have some feminine products. I have some receipts. I have a luggage tag, a band-aid. I have this Hot Hands hand warmers because it was really, really cold in the past few months. And sometimes I like to have those little hand warmers. And last but not least, I have this little baggie with tea bags in it because I like a particular type of tea. And then sometimes it's nice to just carry tea bags or I'm going to drink them at work. Again, I was away for the weekend, so I carried my own tea because we stayed in a friend's home in Vermont. And I just wanted to carry my own tea to have my morning um, tea. So yeah, I have that. I keep this open. I don't really close it. Um, so that's in there. I have my little Louis Vuitton coin purse, but... I don't use this for coins, I use it to hold my earphones and my, I have the Apple AirPods but it's the second pair that I've had and the, uh, when they first came out I got them and a few years later I had to get a new pair because the sound quality really went down, they were really, the sound was really low even though I would have it on like all the way up and so when I went to the Apple store they were like you know you're out of warranty, there's nothing we can do, sometimes that happens um, and I'm just like this is you know really expensive, why is this happening? So I just got a new pair because AirPods are really convenient without you know the wire and stuff so they're really convenient, I really love them. Got a new pair. I've had that pair probably for a year and a half, maybe actually over two years, and the same thing happened. The sound quality went down. I still have them. I just prefer now to use my good old trusty earphones with the, the wire to them because they work amazingly. The sound is really loud. The wire is really annoying, but I would rather use these than my AirPods because I know that these are reliable and they were, I got, think I got these free with my, um, I think I got them free with my iPhone or something. I got them free with something and they work perfectly fine. So yeah, I have those and I probably won't be getting another pair of AirPods because it's so annoying that that happens and they're such an investment. So when that happens, I'm just like, oh, and this is the second time. So definitely not gonna invest my money in that probably anymore unless I get them as a gift or something, who knows. Um, the next thing I have here is my full size wallet, which is the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet, I believe. Or is it the Emily wallet? I'm not totally sure, but um, yeah, this is my trusty wallet. You have your space for your cards in the front, and then, um, you know, it opens and you have space for cash. Um, and I have just receipts. I have my business cards in here, the band aid. Um, and then in the zipper part, I have extra cards. I have my citrine stone and then some change in there. So, yeah, I've got that. Next, I have my shades, which are in these really nice puffy case that keeps it protected, but it's not bulky, which I love. And these are my Celine shades. I've had these for years and years and years. And they're really only in here, again, because I took the weekend trip with my family. It was just like the girls in our family went to. My cousin has a friend who owns her a vacation home in Vermont and they offered it up to us for the weekend just to relax and it was just an amazing getaway much needed with everything going on in the world it was just amazing we just relaxed and laughed and ate amazing so I had those in here because um, I knew that we would be outside and stuff and we took a hike so I decided to go ahead and put my shades in there so I could wear it while we were outside and then I have my little um, makeup pouch here from Gucci. I got this not last, uh, this past Christmas or past birthday, but the one before last. I got it for my husband as a birthday present. So we'll go ahead quickly to go through what's in here. This is almost like a catch-all. It has so much stuff in here. So I have my hand sanitizer. This is the new New York State clean hand sanitizer. So this is the one provided by New York State 
I have so much of this. In previous videos, I've told you my mom works for, she has a city job, so she has a ton of these, and she always gives them to me, so I never need to buy hand sanitizer, but I do have a small little Purell in here as well. And then I have a thing of floss, um, which is really handy. Either my husband will need it if we go out to dinner, or sometimes he just needs it. <laughs> um, and then also, um, I wear Invisalign, so this is really great when I need to brush my teeth after meals to just make sure everything's good before I have to put my trays back in. So yeah, I have my floss there. Then I have my Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil, which I'm addicted to. I always have cuticle oil on me. I'm addicted to putting cuticle oil on my hands. Like, I do it like 20 times a day. So, um, and then I have this little uh, mini of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. You know, this is the one that you get for your, like, birthday gift from Sephora. So, I have that in here, which I really love this stuff. It smells so, so good. It makes it a really good hand cream. Let's add that in there because you don't want to be ashy. Um, that's one of my pet peeves. I don't want to be ashy ever caught outside. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Ombre Vanilla Body Butter Little Mini. Um, again, love, love, love this. It has a very similar sort of smell to the Brazilian Bone Bone Cream. It's like really sweet and warm, which I like. Um, I have my Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss in the color Force of Nature. Um, it's just a really nice brownie pink. Which I don't know why I have it in here because I don't wear lip products, obviously because of the mask, but you know, I think out of habit I carry lip products. Then I have the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Mini Cologne, just in case I ever forget to put on spray. And then like in all of my What's in My Bag videos and a lot of my videos, I always say that I carry mini perfumes because when you go into a bathroom and it smells, you want to kind of spray to have a pleasant experience. Also, you want to, sometimes you need to spray before you leave the bathroom. Also, if you go into a stinky bathroom, you don't want people thinking that's you coming in behind you. So I like to do a little spritz, a little courtesy spritz, you know, for the person coming in after me. So they, you know, even though I had to deal with the stink bathroom, they don't have to deal with it. So yeah, I have that. And Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone is delicious. It smells so good. I have the Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil here. I love this stuff. It's a really nice lip oil. Um, yeah, I have that in there. And that's a good lip treatment, but it's really shiny, so it almost looks like a lip gloss. I have my Charlotte Tilbury, my favorite lipstick, which is Stoned Rose. I have three or four of these, and I always keep one in my purse. It's just a really pretty, like, orangey nude. It's really pretty with my skin tone. I have another lip balm. This is the Myra Badescu lip balm, which I love. I like to carry just simple lip balms with no color sometimes because, you know, for my husband, if he needs any lip balm, I can just give him one of those to use. Um, I have the, okay, this is, wait, I have to take some of these out. I have a lot of lip products in here. This is a Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I was looking for this. I didn't know it was in my purse. I really love this. I want to get the full size of this when I am done because this is amazing. This Huda Beauty Silk Balm is so moisturizing, but it's really shiny. It looks like a lip gloss, but it's not sticky at all. I really like this. I like that it has a little doe foot applicator so you don't have to stick your finger in it. I really like this. So when this is done, I'll probably buy the full size. I should have got it in the Sephora sale. I wasn't thinking. And I have my favorite lip liner of all time, which is Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown, the best lip liner out there. It's a beautiful brown lip liner. I don't wear any other color, even if I put in a clear lip gloss, if I put in a red lipstick, if I put in a nude lip, purple lip, orange lip, whatever it is, I'm wearing this lip liner. And I love it because her lip liners are waterproof. Don't tell me I have another one in here. Yes, I have another one in there. Um, I have a little pouch that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. A little pouch, but I keep change in here. Um, yeah, I keep like excess change because sometimes I don't want my wallet to be weighed down with so much change. Then I also have this little Hamsa here that my coworker got from when she went to. Um, she, she was, she's from Georgia, the country, so not the state, but Georgia, which is near-ish to Turkey. So um, she brought that back when she came back, and she always brings me really nice things, like she'll bring me like evil eyes and stuff like that, and I love her. But yeah, I keep that in there. 
I have my rose quartz, which I actually need to recharge. I carry rose quartz and citrine on me at all times. Citrine is for prosperity, that's why I keep it in my wallet. And rose quartz is for like love, relationships, and things like that. So always want to make sure that I have that on me for all the positivity. And I have a hairband. I also have some Q-tips, which I need to throw away because they're like loose. That's disgusting. A bobby pin, a bunch of change that I need to, oh, I need to gather and put in here because sometimes when you pay for cash, I don't want to like fum be fumbling and try to put everything perfectly. So I'll just like throw it back in here so I can, you know, not hold up the line. So I have a ton of change. So I'll put that in there. Then, yeah, so that's empty. I love this. It has a green lining. Green is my favorite color. Um, and then it has a little pocket, like a slip pocket on the side in here. And I have some stuff. Oh, some more change. Wow. I also have um, some bobby pins that I like to rub a band together. And I need to put that bob loose bobby pin in there. So just in case I need to pin back my hair. I don't like my hair on my face. Um, so sometimes I will, like on my commute to work, I will pin back the front of my hair. Um, or if I'm working and my hair is getting on my nerves, I'll just pin back the front of my hair. Some more loose change that was in that little pocket. Oops, that I need to put in here. I can probably get a venti Starbucks latte with all this change that I have in here. Um, and then I have some Tylenol in here, just in case. Then I get a headache or something at work. I have a crumpled up, <laughs> I have a Band-Aid in there. I have my Thanks for Sharing Rewards card from Macy's. Um, it's just like a gift card. You, I think you apply for it like around the holidays and you get 10% back on everything you purchase through like January and then you get a gift card back. So I think you pay $25 for it and then 10% back on everything you purchase and then you get the gift card around February or so and so that's really nice. Um, it's like you're getting 10% off. Not really, you're getting it back on a gift card, but it's nice because if you're doing all your holiday shopping, gifts, and stuff like that, then in February you get a gift card back that you can spend on yourself. So I really like that um, because my husband and I tend to buy a lot of gifts from Macy's because they have so many, you know, brands and things, and so we uh, will go there and we'll always get the Thanks for Sharing Rewards card. I have to check if there's money left on there. Then I have a bunch of these uh, lens cleaners because I like, if I have my glasses on me or my shades, I like to just make sure it's all clean. Also, these work really well because they're basically alcohol wipes for cleaning your phone screens. I hate when my phone screen is really smudged and dirty, so I like to use this to kind of clean my phone screen. So yeah, that's empty. I just have the little pouch that is attached. You can take it off and just kind of use this as a little clutch or a little wallet. A lot of people do that. There's a back slip pocket and I just have the um, information for the bag in there, you know, that comes with the bag. I just have that in there. Um, sometimes I like to keep those papers with the bags. And then in here I have my little Gucci card case, which I have all my main cards in. Because sometimes if I'm just like running, I just want to kind of grab this and I'll have all my cards. So I have like my debit card, I have my uh, driver's license, and then I have my main. Um, if I'm going to use a credit card, I have like one of my main credit cards in here. Uh, and I'll have all of my health cards, me and my husband health cards in here too. Um, so that's important. I have my little Louis Vuitton key pouch, which I love. This is a six ring key holder. Uh, probably the best luxury purchase you will ever make. It has a little uh, pocket in here as well in the back behind the keys where I keep my metro card for, my, um, for when I'm commuting. I have a little Polaroid from our weekend uh, this past weekend in Vermont that I'm, I'm going to keep in here. I have some cash in there too. I like to keep just a little bit of cash on me just in case. You never know if you need it. And also I take New York City subway so sometimes I like to give um, there's a lot of homeless people on the subway, so sometimes I'll, I'll give money. Um, and then also I have these little hair clips I actually need to take out. These are those hair clips that you can use when you're doing your hair, just to keep your hair, uh, when you're doing your makeup, just to keep your um, hair out of your face. Um, these are really good actually, so I think I took them because I was on my trip, but I ended up 
not really wearing makeup at all because we were in Vermont and we were just, you know, relaxing and hiking and being in the house, so I didn't really need it, but yeah. Also throw my phone in there and I just have I'm really bad with phones. I think it's the iPhone XR. I believe this is what this is. I am not a person who follows like the newest phone. I get a phone and then when it gives up the ghost and dies on me and won't work anymore properly, then I will upgrade my phone. But I don't like to upgrade my phone. I have so many pictures and emails and you know apps and notes and things that it's and I use my phone a lot for work so it's really hard to get keep getting new phones you have to keep like transferring everything I'm always scared I'm gonna lose something even though everything's backed up by the cloud but still I just like to work with the same phone um that's such a long explanation but yeah I have my phone I have this nice black case on it from Amazon and then I have this little mirror that I got from my friend who works for Bobby Brown and I love it because I don't use the mirror but it really works as like to hold up my phone um so like if I'm watching something I can just like prop up my phone which I, really, I just got a text message which I really like so yeah got my phone so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of everything I carry around in this huge big old bag. I'm probably going to be ending up using this bag a lot uh, here coming soon because I'm going to be doing a few um, trips. I uh, have a couple trips planned in June so yeah I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed my what's in my bag video. If it wasn't too crazy long. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me a like comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.